So this is the second video for the dynamic wall maze. Uh, we're working on level two here, creating our algorithm. We created our function in the previous video. We've uh, our started our main programming, beginning with setting our wall to false. Uh, and we're saying while our down eye detects red, when it does not detect red. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my control structures and I'm gonna grab an if else statement. So what I'm going to do is and say, hey, if we come in contact with our wall, we're going to make a left-hand turn at 90 degrees. And then at the same time, we are going to run our function. So we've come in contact with the wall. We're making a left-hand turn. We're running our function. If we don't, we're going to make a right-hand turn. So we're going to turn right at those 90 degrees, and then we are going to uh, run that same function. And then ultimately, when we're done with this, we're going to want to uh, stop driving. So let's see how this program plays out. So we made our right-hand turn, left-hand turn not there. We found our opening. Obviously in this maze we have went the wrong way. I'm going to pause the video briefly to see how this runs uh, so we don't waste the entire amount of time. We're about a minute from when I paused, and what we can see is our robot is uh, navigated this, came back up using this program, and we can see that it is continually uh, going there. Uh, not a fast process at all. A lot of wrong turns, the way the program is written, but uh, the robot is sensing like we uh, asked it to and has been working successfully. So I have no doubt that we're gonna end up on the uh, finish line. Here, I'm gonna pause again for the sake of your time. We can pick up now about three minutes later and we see that we finally completed our uh, maze. So uh, it does solve one puzzle, which is what's asked of it. And we can see that same thing running here. Uh, as we go through a second puzzle. And again, you'd want to check yours through. I'm going to pause uh, again so we can pick up as the robots further into the video. Just for a quick check in, uh, you can see we're at about a minute 30 now, and we're only probably a quarter of the way through that maze. Uh, where this program is just fine for what it's asking, it's probably not the most realistic program to write. Is always checking that left to right is what we're doing. Uh, and seeing if there's a wall there to decide which way we go on uh, how we progress. Uh, remember that our robot itself, so I'm just going to change our view here, has left and right bump sensors on it. So there's sensors that actually, those front two sensors there, we can see it. Uh, that would be the probably the way I would approach going to a level three program, is using those front bump sensors uh, in a function to say, hey, if my bump sensors aren't being pressed, then drive forward because there's no wall in front of me. Once they're pressed, my walls are true, which would then mean I need to go through this left-right turn aspect. Uh, looking at this program now, I would probably rewrite this program uh, to use those bump sensors just so we can make this a little bit quicker. So how that program would run would be instead of stopping here, it would continue to run until those bump sensors are checked. Uh, I will do a video uh, showing a bump sensor program, what it might look like 